Lamont at large here. Uh, I was driving down the street in Long Island. I was about to go do my interview, and uh, I seen a cool little uh, yard sale on the side of the uh, road right here, so I thought I'd show some cool stuff. So let's go check it out and see if we see anything cool. So this is what attracted my eye. Uh, I'm not a bicycle aficionado, but um, these bikes look pretty old, pretty cool. Uh, I forgot what you call these bikes. What is it, a Stingray or something, or a Mustang? Yeah, there's Mustang. And it has like the little shifter knob right there. I think that's for the brake. That's not the brake, what is that? I don't know what the hell it is. I thought it was kind of cool though. That's some vintage bikes right there. You don't see these anymore. I used to have one. I had one when I was like 14 years old. I had this style of bike. And everyone used to make fun of me because I would ride it around. Yeah, I mean, if, you know, if you see a 300 pound guy on one of these, you would uh, make fun of him too. So I don't blame him. It's a pretty cool bike though. I used to have one of these when I was uh, 17 years old. I used to ride to work on one of these. This is a GoPed. Uh, it's just a little scooter. It has like a 22cc engine. Um, this one has a little seat. Um, I would actually ask them how much they want for this because I'm kind of in the market for one of these. But the problem with these is that they're, uh, they're driven on a spindle on the tire. So you basically can't if the conditions are wet outside, you can't drive this. And um, the tires, I mean, they're, they're pneumatic tires, but I don't know, I prefer a chain-driven uh, scooter, but kind of cool, California go-ped. Got some extension cords, I could have used those uh, a week ago. Some old coffee thermoses. Yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff here so far. Yeah, check this out. Uh, you don't see these old fans anymore. Uh, these old style fans, uh, you know, the ones that your kid can stick their fingers into and it gets sliced right off. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, definitely some cool stuff in here. Um, it's amazing how. Uh, that guy, did you just hear that? That guy asked who John Lennon is. What the hell? That kid right there, he asked who John Lennon was. Right there, the guy in the flannel on the right. That guy, he just asked who John Lennon is. <laughs> that is funny. You know, it's you know the sign of the times, you know what I mean? Wow, that is, that is, um, that is beyond <laughs> funny. Wow, okay. Uh, wow, man. I, you know, you live somewhere for 30 years and you just collect a lot of stuff, so. Check this out. This old arcade cabinet. Um, this is one of those touch things where you just play the game and you touch it or whatever. Um, but a lot of these were rigged to actually um, be gambling machines. You see a lot of these in liquor stores. Um, supposedly you'll win like prizes for you know points or whatever but it's all gambling there goes a uh, old uh, looks like a, a gambling machine and it, you see how it says for amusement only but if they know who you are and you know who they are the shop owner you can get this machine in there and if you win 200 points it'll be 200 bucks so that's how they normally do it okay you cannot tell me that i would not buy this look at this it looks like a little mini golf cart i'm not standing on a ladder this thing is really small the thing goes up to my chest i've never even seen what is this like a little kid's golf cart or something i swear to god i would buy this if i had room that is freaking <laughs> i would buy that just as a joke maybe for eli to drive or something here goes some uh, figurine collect collector crap stuff I don't know this stuff looks kind of old I don't know if it's like antique stuff but um, I'm not touching it because you break you buy my book and I'm not paying for this um, we got more figurines look at this oh wow oh, look at this old typewriter wow look at this thing yikes and how many failed authors have wrote their memoirs on this thing that is old I dig I dig old stuff like this I, I don't have any room of course to, but I, I love stuff like this. Just check this out. Dang. And that completes my tour. Uh, I seen the refrigerator I needed. Uh, he wanted 20 bucks for it, but when I opened it up, there was mold in there. 
Uh, I offered him 10, he said no. So I like my refrigerators uh, without mold. So anyways, no refrigerator for me. I guess I'll keep looking. Anyways, this is Lamont at large and uh, cool uh, roadside uh, garages from assholes that don't want to sell their fucking little mini fridges that has mold in it, you 